a man of grace is a man under God's protection. So Noah and his household, they found grace and God preserved them. God protected them. A sister found grace also. All the way from Imo to Abuja, enter a vehicle, and arm robbers stopped them on the road. Brought all of them down. No offense. And they start killing them one after the other. But no mistake, they kill 11 people. The mother is a member here. She has a junior brother here also. Just on her way, coming to Abuja, she escaped going, but the devil stopped on the road. After they killed all the people, all 18, is it 18 passengers or something? They killed all of them, all, all of them, but only her. They separated her. They said, you, where are you going? I'm on my way to Abuja. And they were the one that stopped Fergo. Say, enter and go. But the rest people, they finished them. She couldn't believe whether she was dreaming or she was alive. Why? Grace over. When the grace of God is on you, if everyone is dying in your family, it will accept you. Grace speaks for divine protection and exceptional from evil act. When grace is on you, what is destroying all that is that thing that will lift you. The water swallowing people in the beginning, it was the same water that was lifting the ark of Noah. The more they were sinking in the water, the more Noah was going up. Why? Grace speak for me. When the grace of God is on you, what is making your CEO to fire everyone is the same thing that will make you to be promoted. It is Have you ever imagined that they are, they are taking people in some certain office and they are promoting some people? Grace speaks. Grace speaks. Grace speaks. You want to enjoy this year, you need the grace of God. Sir, there are some people with dangerous big qualification. They don't allow them to enter the door. But there are some people without nothing. Say, I just have mercy on you, come. And when you see grace, you see favor. When you see grace, you see mercy. And when you see mercy, you see forgiveness. So when all these things are working together, your life will never remain the same. So you see the example of, that is the first example that found grace in the house of God is Noah. May I pray for you if you will say amen. From now to December, the grace of God will protect you and your family. The grace of God will protect you and your family. Even of art, maybe cultists, armor, whatever. 
and they met six people in the room. Number second was there. They packed everybody. But that number second, inside the same room, one among the, say, this one. So why do we need to leave this one? All of them said, it's with us. This guy, he didn't open his mouth. Why? There was a prophecy that God wanted to use him to the mother. But because of that grace of God on him, they back up. And one among the police said, you better go and repent because I see the hand of God in you. Number second. How can you pick one and you leave the second? How can you be the leader of a team and his assistants? They have more details of documents. You said the hand of God is on him. You better go and repent. And we must not see you together with these people if by nature they survive. And they back them <laughs> and left. And the boy was there. That was the day of his repentance. What a grace that God wanted to use him. Speak for him. Do you know all that may not be selling in the market? But only you will be selling. They will be wondering what is really happening. Despite this pandemic, you are still buying the car. How? You still have grace to buy land and you say you want to. While some even are looking for food to eat. Great speech. So what are the benefits of grace? Number one, speed. A man of grace is a man of what? Speed. You see, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 18, Paul speaking, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 18, he said, I thank my Lord. Though I am the least, though I came last, though I didn't see the King of Kings face to face, I only saw the light, but I speak in tongue more than Peter, more than John. And verse 10. Look at what he said. First Corinthians 15 and verse 10. But by the grace, but by what? Shall we do it together? But by the grace, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not. Overtook the second, overtook the third. From the least, all the people following Jesus. So, church thing is not about how we come, it's all about how the grace is upon you. Somebody can step in an organization today and overtake everybody. It is not Juju, sir, it is the grace. You see, first of all, he said, I speak in tongue. First of all, that they all, and this same Paul, ordinary handkerchief, blind we see, lame we walk. Everywhere he entered, he had more crowd than Peter. Why? Great speech. From one crusade to another, no reason. People are sending letters, writing letters to him. You, you are the one who want. You are the one who want. Why? Grace speak for him. 
So when grace is on you, there's going to be speed. Have you ever imagined that you just park in a compound today and all eyes is on you from that day? You don't know. All eyes is on you. They see you as the leader. He leads. A man of grace, anywhere he enters, there is a special anointing for leadership of any man of grace. He may be a child of one day, two days, three days. Once grace speak, all right, and let his spirit come. So there is divine speed. And I give you this second point there is peace in grace. When grace is on you, you have peace of mind. 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 2. 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 2. Grace unto you. Say amen to that. Amen. And peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus. To men of grace and men of peace. Nothing moved them. He heard, I told you on Wednesday that I slept. That's why it was a dangerous family breaking service. Where you will see all manner of demon, family demon spirits coming to attack. But what should take a man to the mountain for family liberation? It is what is making a man of great to sleep. On Tuesday, I slept, woke up by that, and jumped snoring. I stretch my hand, stretch my leg. Why? I'm not depending on my power. I'm not depending on my strength. I'm depending on my grace. So, what will make a man of grace to pray for five minutes? We make a man of power to be in the mountain for 21 days. Power is different from grace. Where power is operating, you will see some people struggling, fighting. It's going to be a change of war. Have you ever seen some churches? If you did not clap, 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 like three hours, you don't get what I'm saying. People will not fall down. And mighty will not move. And you see a man of grace. What the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you see people rolling and falling. What is that? What will make a man of power to conduct deliverance for one person for three hours? How many hours? One demon for three hours will make a man of great. You say, you demon, get out. In one minute. The demon is what? You need grace. There are some doors that will not open until grace speak. So, what do I do to obtain this grace? Number one. Surrender yourself to the owner of grace. That the way you are struggling, the way you are just running up and down, you want to have rest. Just the way Paul surrendered himself in Acts chapter 9 and verse 1 to 3, Jesus appeared. He appeared unto him. Paul, Acts chapter 9 and verse 1 to 3. Acts chapter 9 and verse 1 to 3. And Saul yet breathing out, threatening and slaughtered. This is a man who, that says, I am what I am. <laughs> this is a man that says, I speak in tongues. Somebody that does not even understand his tongue of life, his village tongue. Now he's not speaking in heavenly. Why? Who this man is after? The disciple of the Lord went up to the high priest. And you see, and desiring of him letter to Damascus to the synagogue that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them back unto Jerusalem. But as his journey, he came near Damascus, very close to where he was going to. Just a step, light came suddenly. Shout about, and he said, Paul. Look at what happened. Verse 4. And he fell to the end. That was the end. 
and arm her back and to attack, what would they do? Everybody on the ground. What does that mean? Surrender. Before they can rob you, you have to what? Surrender. So before grace can speak for you, you have to what? Surrender. You surrender yourself to me. And say, Lord, the way I'm living, the kind of I, I, the way I'm struggling, just if power did not come, I cannot manifest. I want to surrender. So if you are here this morning, you want to surrender so that the grace of God can walk in you. Whatever you are before we pray to rise on your feet. Place your right hand on your chest and say, Father, I surrender myself to your grace. I surrender myself to your spirit. I surrender myself to whatsoever you want me to do for you. I surrender myself to heavenly calling. I surrender myself so that you can use me. I surrender myself. I need your grace. I don't want to die on my own. Enough is enough for my disobedience to your calling. To your calling. To your grace. Go ahead and talk to me. I prophesy your prophecy will take you to your destination. Your prophecy will take you to your destination and from destination to manifestation. Hey.